Hello everyone, Rami Lee here with the second episode of Super Metroid. Uh, my setup's a little different, so I hope everything sounds okay. Um, I forgot to mess with the controls. I don't think I could do it from here, so I'll, I'll, I'll save it for next episode. Anyways, we continue our journey through uh, Brinstar. I kind of feel stupid I had to check, but, um, in the first episode, I realized I said some things wrong, but now I struggle to remember what they were. Uh, well, first off, this, this wasn't the room I was thinking of, um, that I forgot the run button. This is the, this is the secrets break one, which I wonder if I could... Ah! <laughs> uh, I, I, I won't. I won't waste time trying to do it. But oh, that oh, that I remember now. Um, when I talked about forgetting the room you're supposed to run in, that wasn't on here. That was on the 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 Wii U Virtual Console version, which I also talked about. So I'm shocked I got those mixed up. Well, without further ado, let's continue. You know me- oop, oop, don't fire that. You know me, I like to clear things up if I, you know, say something wrong. Whoa, ah! Don't get- get out of there! <laughs> you have to forgive me. Let's say I was, oh, and here you got your missile refiller. It's always nice to have. So, for episode oh, for episode three, I will definitely mess with the controls. I forgot I was supposed to do it in the the menu because I'm moving at a snail's pace here, trying to you know jump jump in the shoes. It's nothing you have to do in these games. Uh, oh, get the power bombs for that. So let's move on. Ooh. So, I just came off of uh, actually making a face video. Hold on, let me check the heat. I, I know it may seem like child's play, but 79 degrees here is pretty hot. So, I have to turn the fans off, obviously, for recording purposes. So, you know, I, I don't like too much background noise cluttering the my videos. That, you know, that that's... That's me, you know, I like to try and make them as high quality as possible. Uh, camera, you gonna catch up? I should have ran past that. So if any noise from out, the, the windows I forgot to close, so if any noise from out there gets in, I do apologize. Great. Hoppers. Came up. I hate those things, just like I said in the last video. Uh, what the? Oh boy. Oh, and here we got a, another save room. Remember what I said before: save often, because you never know when you're gonna need it. And, uh, as usual, I don't have a drink, so if my, my voice becomes strained, I do apologize. I don't care for the flying jumpers, either. Cool today, aren't I? It'll be nice once I get some upgrades. Wow, they aren't giving any life. Well, without further ado, let's try and do this in one shot. Yeah, that'll 
watch out for the RNG of this guy. Hey! Darn it! You're lucky I don't have my usual controls. Sorry if I'm a little quiet. Oh god. No, don't wait! Samus! Some life would be nice. Well, we did it. That's all that matters. Sorry if it was a sloppy display. Oh, jeez. Well, at least I got some light back. Without further ado, let's uh, press onwards. get the super missile. These will open the green doors, in case you didn't already know. Hmm. Oh, uh, uh, hey! At least we're back up to full life. Well, everyone, as usual, I hope you're in no. I hope you're enjoying your Thursday. Eh. If you're spending sped and dreamed and watching my videos, I always appreciate it. And thank you for joining me on this adventure. Come on! Oh, finally! We got our first beam power up. The charge beam! Pretty self-explanatory. Basically, we can just charge up a shot like Mega Man. Can't do anything about that just yet, so let us mosey on over here. I kind of like how they did the uh, power-up selecting in some of the later games. Like, instead of having to press select for missile, then select again for the super missile, they kind of had, like, their own hotkeys. Uh, that orange door, I believe, is a power bomb opener, so we can't do that. Hey! Um... Haha! <laughs> yeah, the single-sided wall chop is a useful skill to have. I was trying to do that in the first episode, but to no avail. Yeah. Oh, let me low. I'm looking so bad. the environment to your advantage, Rami. Oof. Oh, 
I this was the room I was talking about. Like, I, I can't. Wait. Don't be too sure of myself. I could be mistaken again. Well, I'm already full. Okay, I think this was the room. So, when I got here on the Wii U, for some reason I completely forgot about running. So, I was like, I can't. What's going on? So yeah, it's just, just just run across. That's all, all I had to do. <laughs> well, I said it once and I'll say it again. Anyone who watches me knows by now, I have a great aptitude for looking stupid. Ooh. Ha! <laughs> hey! Hey! What? Come on! Now I can't do it. No, game, come on. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, back, back when I played on the Wii U, I got, I actually got really good at uh, all the tricks. Even though now I'm, oh, uh, nope. Uh, I won't waste my time on that. You need, you need the, the ice beam for that one. A power up we don't have yet. Not so fast. Hmm. I don't need the power bump for that. Wait a minute. Oh. Am I missing something? Hmm. Well, something doesn't seem right. I could have sworn. Ah, okay. <laughs> I was like, now hold on a second. Darn it, I hate those things. Oh, this will recharge your energy be a great boon in times of dire need, so always keep an eye out for those. Kill those things, because they're annoying. No! <laughs> no! I had it! I had it and I threw it away. There we go. Oh, I apologize for that helicopter flying over the apartment. There we got a nice little secrets break. Well, if that qualifies as one, I don't know. And we get the spacer, not to be confused with the laser. Now, in this game, there are some weapons that don't, uh, well, some laser power-ups, or, sorry, the, the, the beam power-ups that you can't equip at the same time. So, now we got Charge and Spacer, which is basically just our spread shot. I'm sure it'll come in handy. Alright, nothing there. Let's continue. Why did I jump into that? Hmm. That's suspicious. Maybe it exists just to let you know that there's a secret up there. No! Almost got bit. Oh, this or keep this room in mind. <laughs> a very interesting room. Like I, once I figured out what to do there back when I was a kid, I was kind of blown away. 
Oh, I I I jumped the gun. I didn't mean to do that. Let us head back up. waste of a missile. So as you see, we can't jump high enough to reach that. It requires a, a power-up you get later on. However, we can do this! I mean, we can do... <laughs> we can do... <laughs> Come on, I did it back in the Wii U. I can do it again. Samus, cooperate! <laughs> hmm. Or I can do it this way. If I could get the rhythm right. Oh boy. I am just looking like quite the fool today. too high. Eh. I, I, I promise I did this before. You have to believe me. Man, now I feel... I feel, I feel so stupid. Aha, we did it. Sorry if it took a little a little longer. I could have sworn it was a wall jump thing, but I guess it was a the bomb jump. Well anyways, that's one secrets break. Let's see uh let's see what we get for our efforts. So yeah, secrets breaking is half the fun of Super Metroid. Now that we have a much more powerful weapon. Ah, there we go. Oh. Um. Oh, jeez. Well, everyone... Um, I feel kind of bad, but it is a decent-sized episode. I guess I'm going to save here. Uh, we'll explore more of what uh, benefits uh, Secrets Breaking right there gets us. So, once again, this has been Rami Lee. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day. And if you're so inclined, feel free to like and subscribe and press that little bell thingy. And uh, I hope you... In Ugh. I hope you join us on our adventure as we go into episode 3. Uh, see ya!